Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform PCA in SPSS. So I have this data set and this data set has some variables representing characteristic of a person. Now what we are going to do, we are going to apply PCA on those variables representing characteristics and we will see how to do that in SPSS. So in order to apply SPSS, you have to go to analyze and then you have to go to dimension reduction and here you will find factor now as you can see here right now these variables are shown by their labels so if you want to see the name of variable just right click here and click on display variable names and then select those variables on which you want to apply the PCA Here in descriptive, you can select what descriptive you want for your data. So here if you want some uh, correlation matrix, so let's say we, are, we want to display correlation matrix coefficient and let's say that's all. Or if you want to go for significance level, you can select this one as well. So here in extraction method, so by default this method is principal component. Now, is this video is focused on principal component analysis, so that's why we keep it the same. But it, you can also apply other method as well. And here, this eigenvalue actually specify how this analysis method will select the component. So it will select all the component which have eigenvalue greater than one. Or if you want to just specify you want to extract some particular number of factors so let's say you want to uh, map your data into two components only so here you can specify two so we are going for the first option and here in the display this is unrotated factor solution uh, that means uh, the resultant component might be uh, related with each other as well so in some cases when you want uh, a resultant component or your resultant dimension to be independent of each other you can go for rotated factor solution as well and this discrete plot will show you how much variance is explained by each of the component so right now we are not going for any rotation methods so that's why it's none but you can select very max or these other methods and in case if you want to save the resultant dimension or component you can select here and in options uh, if there are some missing value in your data you can specify how those missing value will be excluded or you want to replace them with the mean and coefficient display format so here when your analysis will be completed your component and your component correlation with the original variable will be displayed now sometimes what we want we want that uh, table to be sorted by the correlation coefficient so here you can select this and then you select on okay so this is the correlation matrix so this correlation matrix can give you an idea whether there is any relationship between these variables or not and here this script plot actually showing uh, the amount of variance explained by each component so the eigenvalue actually show the strength and if you want to see the amount of variance explained by these component so you can check it here so if you can see here total 10 components are computed and uh, out of 10 only 3 are selected because they are having eigenvalue higher than 1 and their total variance explanation power is around 71 percent This is the 
factor loading so these are the factors one two three and how uh, this variable is computed out of these three factors so these is the like the first factor contribute 0.872 percent sorry 87 percent or second nine percent third 11 percent and so on so thank you very much for watching